back when the world was still open, a time before COVID, we had an adventure, a little different from the usual. We're used to the ocean and surfing. We're used to the bush and climbing mountains. But this season, we're trying something new. We're going to a city, a big city. Join us today as we say goodbye to Disneyland Hong Kong and set out to the city. Our first stop, the 10,000 Buddhas. Disney tip, don't wear your nice Disney shirts to breakfast. Chocolate Mick Mickey waffles are pretty messy. What's on your face? We're leaving Disney today. We're going to head into the city. Um, it's rainy, so this will be interesting. I'm glad it did rain while we were at the park, which was really good. We're not sure what we're going to do. We were going to go see 10,000 Buddhas this morning and then head down to our Airbnb, but we're just feeling a little weighted down by our stuff, and 10,000 Buddhas has heaps of stairs. So I think we're going to go maybe walk in a park, maybe, if it's raining. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll figure it out, but we're going to go get on the train. Just as we were about to leave Disney, we were surprised with a bit more Disney magic. Pluto and Goofy showed up at our hotel. It was fun for the kids to have a final magical Disney moment before leaving. It was kind of funny, Goofy grabbed Hallie's hand and started walking with her. We had no clue where he was going or what he was doing. We just followed. As it turns out, he was just taking us to a new spot for photos. Get in there, buddy. <laughs> Something kind of neat about Hong Kong Disney is they hand out free stickers to the kids. Our kids have received so many over the course of the last couple days, enough to even share with our classmates at school. Goofy noticed that Henry had the same name as one of the cast members. Goofy wanted the cast member to give Henry his name tag. The cast member wasn't so sure, so Goofy threw a fit. He compromised by taking a picture. Okay, Henry. Henry, picture with Henry. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. Cheese, Henry. So I tried to pack up and get out of the hotel. Cindy said no. She wanted to stay. So she went really slow. She wasn't going to leave. And then Hobie decided he wasn't going to leave. The metro system in Hong Kong is really, really nice. It's super clean, really easy to understand. Um, we've had no problems so far. It's really good. But I did notice there's like a couple like doors that have like a sticker on it that says quiet car. So we moved away from those because uh, our kids can't keep quiet. Here's my Henry being a good little boy. Here's my Hallie being a handful. And here's Hobie being an instigator. And there's Chris. I'm sad to leave this. This is why we love the stroller. Well, Henry can now. This is the fourth train today. Oh my. One day Moana was a kid. One day Moana was a kid? Yeah. Just like you? Mm -hmm. Then she grew up? I 
after about an hour's worth of train travel, we are headed to the 10,000 Buddhas. Um, my phone's kind of working, so we can kind of figure out where it is. So, I'm excited. We found it. <laughs> it is. So it's a little confusing. We show up and we're like at this end of the street. But then we looked at our maps a little bit better and it takes you to the start of the trail. Um, so I think we found it. We have our stroller and there's a lot of stairs, so we'll see how far we can take it. And then we'll just ditch our stroller. But I see some Buddhas up here. Who sees some Buddhas? How do they go up the whole stairway? I think so. Well, this is cool, guys. So I think every single one of these Buddhas is different. Like he does have a pool on there. I feel like there's a story behind each and every one of these. Who do you think this guy's story is with the long legs? So he could get through the water. Maybe he was reaching to grab something off the tree. And what's that guy's story? Oh, I think that guy's story is I surfed on, on a fish. He surfed on a fish? Yeah, he could be. Maybe. Or maybe they're just loving. Maybe. Or maybe they're great people that have died in the past. Ooh, good thinking, Henry. He just said they might be great people who have died in the past. You're so strong. So strong. I'm so happy I'm married to you. We're really happy we decided to visit the 10,000 Buddhas. I've gotta say, it wasn't easy. We had all our luggage plus our stroller. That's right, we have our stroller now. The airline found it and sent it to the Disney Hotel. Unfortunately, it wasn't in time for our days at the park, but we're thankful they found it. Some of them are sitting down, some of them are standing up now. Oh, so they're not standing up and down below they were sitting down. So I found one that looks a little bit like Hobie. Because he's missing a tooth. <laughs> 10,000 Buddhas, stroller friendly, uh, slash not stroller friendly. Oh yeah. That big guy up there. Harry, look up there. Once you get up to the top, you can walk around and explore a bit. There's even a little gift shop up there. Got to the last section here um, with the stroller. It got super steep. Didn't make it. Had to turn around. So Cindy's up top. With the kids. Hopefully they have a good time. So I heard that there were monks and monkeys here, but so far I haven't seen a monkey or a monk. So the search continues.
On our way back down, it was nice to get a chance to check out the Buddhas again. We just finished checking out the 10,000 Buddhas. Was there 10,000? I don't know, maybe. Um, but we're gonna head down now. These statues, I don't think there's 10,000, but in one of the buildings, I think there's 10,000. There could be. These are really cool coins to get them. They're Siamese. They oh, have okay. a little hole in it. They, they're old Chinese ones. Yes, and they have a little hole in it. Very cool. You're gold just like the Buddhas. Golden dress, golden hair. Oh, Mommy, what can you do? That guy's holding many things. Can you suck, Mommy? No. No coins. He does have a coin. One from, from Hong Kong. Oh, yeah. it, it looks so cool. Okay. No ceiling from the Buddha. That one's got really bright lipstick. Yeah, so some of them um, have red lips and some of them don't. We're curious like why some of them do, why some of them don't. It looks like a lot of them down here do. Like are the ones down at the bottom of the hill like the less good ones? They're all sitting down too. They're all sitting. And then the ones up there. I wonder if they get like better as they go up. Okay, I found the sign where um, they're saying watch out for the fake monks who ask for money. No, it's free. You don't need to pay any money. And you just have to look out for the fake monks and the monkeys. The monks will take your money, the fake monks. And the monkeys will take all your food. There's some donation box too if you actually want to give money to the 10,000 Buddha's monastery. Join us next time as we face our most stressful moment in Hong Kong. Special shout out to 3 Under 2. Thank you for commenting. I love that your little girl watched our video too. Thank you everyone for watching. Subscribe so we can see you next time.